Okay, and now we will begin. As you're resting to start, you just have resting flat on your back with your head on the floor, knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Let's take a few breath cycles into the low pelvis and low abdomen. I'd like you to breathe in low and deep. And then breathe out slow and long. One way to make the exhale slower and longer is to purse the lips into a tiny straw shape. So breathe in through the nose. And then blow out slowly as through a tiny straw. And I'm going to ask you to do that twice more. So the inhale goes low in your torso, deep in the pelvis. And then exhale long and slow. And slow down by the shape of the lips through which you're exhaling. And then as you finish that second exhale, just bring your right knee to your chest and clasp your hands behind your right hamstring and hug your knee in towards your shoulder. And I'm gonna ask you to just hug the knee into the chest. You can keep it pretty still. And let the breath come down still into the low pelvis, low and deep. And keeping your knee close to your chest, exhale slowly as if blowing out through a straw. Again, inhale into the low belly. You might sense your belly pressing against your right thigh, which would be appropriate given the position that we're in. And then a smooth, slow exhale, as if through a tiny straw, making that shape with your lips. Now, keeping your right knee close to your chest, release both hands, and slowly raise your right heel up towards the ceiling. And then even more slowly, take your right leg straight out until we're gonna to come to the floor. But go really slow out from your hip forward, not out to the side, please. That'll be very difficult. <laughs> go straight back up, please. Sorry for the confusion. And then take your right leg down towards the floor where it'd be going to Shavasana, but go really slow, even slower. I'm asking you to go super slow because the circulation is gonna recognize that you are lowering your right leg slowly, slowly. And as you get about one inch from the floor, let your right leg hover there. Breathe in through the nose. And then when you exhale, release your right leg heavily to the ground. And now hug your left knee into your chest. Clasp your hands to hold your left knee snugly towards your left shoulder. Breathe into the low belly so we have this little bit of compression from the inhale into your left thigh. And you exhale like a tiny straw. 
to make the exhale long and slow. Give your entire concentration to the exhale. And then smoothly inhale with your left knee snug to your chest so your thigh and your belly do press against each other. And the exhale long and slow. And just momentarily restricting blood supply down the left leg by having your knee to your chest. And now keeping your knee close to your chest, release your arms out to the side and raise your left heel high towards the ceiling. As you press up through your left heel, energize all of the muscles and very slowly lengthen your left leg out towards Shavasana position, but go super slow. So your body comes to recognize the return of your left leg. The blood supply remembers flowing from the heart down through your pelvis. You're going to hover one inch from the floor. Energize your left leg in that hover position. And then exhale and release your left leg heavily to the ground. And now bring your right arm across your chest so that your right hand holds your left shoulder for a few moments or reaches near to it. And so you're just temporarily restricting the blood supply from your heart to your right arm. A gentle restriction. Just for the sense that your body is working inside to understand all the time the positions that you take on and what's needed to continually nourish you. I'm going to ask you now to slowly raise your right arm to go straight up towards the ceiling. And let the arm hover as you reach your fingers towards the ceiling. You might notice that there's a sense that the blood supply and gravity are returning towards your heart. And then very slowly start opening your right arm out to the side. So slowly that you can feel when the circulation realizes, oh, out to the fingers, out to your thumb. Your arm gets slowly heavier as you get closer to the ground. You are about an inch or so from the floor. Take your time, make the arm longer, brighter. And with your exhale at your timing, release your right arm to be heavy against the floor. Let it drop down. And raise your left arm to cross it over your chest and momentarily hold your right shoulder. Imagine again how amazing it is that your body, it knows so much, every position we go to, the body calibrates and recalibrates. A multitude of calibrations. Circulation is only one of them. So sense your body intelligence right now Realizing this position. And very slowly raise your left arm up towards the ceiling, noticing the temperature of your fingers and that the blood supply will tend to flow back down towards your heart.
Though your arm is lifted, it can be relaxed. And as you very slowly open your left arm out to the side, go slowly enough that you can sense the circulation, the innervation, temperature. Even you'll sense the skin on the arm. You stretch one finger or another. Sense the entirety of your left arm. When you get about an inch from the ground, let your arm hover there, invite it to be longer and brighter. And then with an exhale that you decide upon, release your left arm down to the floor completely. Imagine your heart realizing, okay, both legs, both arms, both feet, both hands. Every part of the body is welcoming the gift of circulation. Now is the time to transition to your bolster with your block underneath the head part of the bolster. Support your lumbar spine, mid back spine, and then your head. So the block is under the bolster at a place where your head feels the arms alongside your torso. Stretch your legs out on the floor. I'm gonna ask you to do four breath cycles with a technique that finishes that circulatory neurological reset. I'll describe it and then we'll do it together. You'll be inhaling through the nose. We'll hold the in-breath for a few moments. We'll squeeze both feet and both hands like fists. We'll squeeze the leg muscles and the arm muscles. And on the exhale, we'll relax very deeply. And we'll do this four times all together. So breathe in slowly, but completely, including the upper chest and heart. When you're holding the breath, squeeze both fists, both arms, both feet, both legs, even squeeze the butt muscles. And then exhale, let both legs, both arms, and your whole body sigh for the exhale breath. Now inhale to repeat. Breathing in, fill up the torso, including the heart. As you hold the inhale, squeeze the arms and legs and both fists and both feet. And the squeeze, the squeeze is intentional. And then exhale, release the weight of your arms, the weight of your legs, make the exhale like a sigh, your body becoming more deeply relaxed. We will do this twice more. So with your next inhale, when you feel ready to, fill up the torso. At the top of the inhale, you're gonna be holding the breath in. And we'll squeeze the two fists, the two arms, the two You hold the mind and the heart. And here's the last one. Breathing in. The top of your inhale. Make an effort to hold the breath to squeeze the body. We call this squeeze and release technique.
And then in your own timing, the exhale is like a sigh. Let everything go. Now we're gonna rest in stillness. Let your body realize the reset that you have been offering. Allow yourself to rest, to rest deeply. You may say to yourself, my hands and feet are warm and heavy. My heart is deeply at ease. My hands and feet are warm and heavy. My heart is at ease. My hands and feet are warm and heavy. My heart is at ease. I am become a My hands and feet are warm and heavy and deeply relaxed. My heart is at ease. My hands and feet are warm and heavy and deeply relaxed. My heart is at ease. I am the calm. Mm. 
Say to yourself, my hands and feet are warm and heavy and deeply relaxed. My heart is at ease. My hands and feet are warm and heavy and deeply relaxed. You may say to yourself, my heart is at ease. Om I am become Jamahe Sugandhim Pushtivaranam Urvarukami vapandano Vrithnora mukshi Namam rathata Say again to yourself, my hands and feet are warm and heavy and deeply relaxed. My heart is at ease. My hands and feet are warm and heavy and deeply relaxed. My heart is at ease. Om Jayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushtivaranam Urvarukami Vabandana Vritnora Mukshi Yamam Ritata Om Hari Om Om Hari Om. 
Now you may lightly deepen your breathing. Gently encourage your toes, your fingers to move. Bend one knee at a time. And please roll to your side. You can use both hands when you're ready to, to bring yourself back up to sitting. You feel like you got to drop in a little bit, drop in and down, like this kitty. <laughs> Nancy can't get up. <laughs> Why would you get up? That would be a terrible thing to do. You got to stay there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. 